Hey you guys, this is Mage Class Wars Finals for August slash September 2016. We're overlapping the months a little bit this time around, so uh, the finals land right at the very beginning of September. And uh, and here I'm in Warriors Hall, and uh, and there's something going on if you guys check the numbers. Uh, so uh, all these players pretty much get a plus damage on me. So this person actually must have very, very low reduced res, uh, considering BR and all of that stuff, to, considering being able to get into Class Wars Final, uh, because um, they're getting an increase in, in damage every time they hit me. You see a damage like plus 2% or whatever, and um, they're actually, I think most of them are getting a damage reduction from me. And so I can't believe I did this, which I, I mean I can believe it because I am prone to idiotic things, but <laughs> I actually managed to go into the first few fights of Class Wars Finals with absolutely no resistance crystals on. So um, to my horror, uh, I didn't have any will crystals on or any resistance crystals on, and uh, and so that spells really, really bad news for damage taken. Uh, so I was like, wow, I'm taking a lot of damage for Warriors Hall, you know. Beginning of things, usually I end up with opponents who are not going to be super competitive. And I just couldn't, I don't know why it didn't dawn on me. My BR is so much lower than it's supposed to be. And, uh, and it's just, it's insufferably stupid. Um... But anyway, so I had dropped my resistance crystals to drop my BR, uh, you know, for, for dropping our guild BR, and I just hadn't put them back on, and I didn't notice before I got into things here, and just, uh, what a mess. Uh, but, uh, but regardless, I mean, I managed a few fights without resistance crystals, but I was wondering why they were so difficult. Um, but I just sort of went with it. I think maybe it's like an inferiority complex now where, where I just, you know, assume that everybody's catching up to me. So I was like, oh, maybe I just got a tough draw at the beginning and, you know, went from there. Um, maybe my first opponent, you know, I won, but they were, they were, you know, actually supposed to be somebody who, you know, can compete for the top spots in Warriors Hall. And then I just had a tough draw from there. Whatever crazy logic I used, um, yeah... Did not fix my resistance crystals for like another probably two three fights i think <laughs> until i take a loss before i change uh, uh these resistance crystals um but uh, but regardless it sort of makes some of the early fights more interesting than they they otherwise would be here's grievous i think i end up seeing him again later on which is the bad draw for for him but I manage. I'm uh, still managing. And also with... Uh, I think part of it was I was really not dealing a lot of damage. And I thought it was weird. And I thought it was like Odin's fault. You know, people protect against dark and light resistances a lot for the most part. And uh, and as great as Odin is, um, you know, he's not really a super hard hitter in the way that Thor is. Or even in class wars or just in general the way Frigga is because Frigga you know people generally don't protect against water as much uh, so sometimes you can get away with some really really huge damage you can get to that later when I start uh, fighting electric who uh, was definitely the, the person uh, I think she actually has more BR than I do I was I was when we had similar records uh, it was pretty clear that um, I was losing to her by BR but uh, she was definitely the person giving me the most issues. Here up against Fear and uh, he's using a Thor. Fear also once uh, very, very competitive, you know, able to place within the top three in, in Warlords Hall, not Warriors Hall. Um, but uh, I think like me has, has sort of fallen behind, um, maybe even more so. Well, yeah, it has to be quite a bit that that fear has has dropped because I'm I'm managing all right without resistance crystals. I think, you know, without you know dropping a sylph, I mean dropping a kid is 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 less consequential less consequential than dropping my resistances. So I think the only other things that could potentially make me lose more fights than dropping my resistances would be dropping my main sylph, dropping my skills. Um, 
what else could be worse? Uh, oh, and my gear, I guess, would, would be pretty bad. But even, you know, like a piece of gear or two would, would be better than, than dropping my resistances. It's just, uh, so bad. Um, so here we're up against Devil Dog, and he ends up placing quite well, and I know I'm just in trouble here. I can tell from the, the first hit, and uh, he's not taking much damage. Yeah, so he has a damage reduction of 12% for my, my class skills. It should be different for when I'm in Sylph mode. And here he's just hitting super hard because my resistances are so bad. Like, Non-existent. The only resistance I'm going to have here of any sort are the resistances that uh, Odin inherently has. Fr so from myself. So whatever resistance Odin has naturally uh, are, are the resistances I have right now. So I'm going to be actually pretty bad against Odin because, well, no. So... No, Odin will have positive light resistance. I'm just completely wrong about that. <laughs> but yeah, so so his damage reduction against my Odin is actually even better than when I'm in class mode, uh, which is just tragic. Uh, anyway, so I knew I was going to lose this fight unless I managed to uh, live t t until the end. Um, so I needed to survive. And I'm trying to, uh, to get to that... Guardian rune. I don't know why I didn't get to it earlier. Maybe I just thought I could manage, but I could take a huge hit there and it's over. So so there I, I should have popped the Guardian rune. Maybe I could have gotten into Sylph mode and tried to heal up with, with Devil's Gaze or whatever, but just really, really stupid. But even after that loss, even after I took so much damage from these other players, I'm just not clearly not looking at the at the damage numbers, you know, the percentages, you know, how much is reducing or whatever. Even after that, I'm not like, hmm, maybe I should check my resistances. Maybe I should check my tune in general. What is going on? Am I missing, you know, an astral or something? You know, the damage reduction astrals are, are really important too. Um, but, but even after that point, I, I didn't think to go check my resistances. Here, up against Lilia. Uh, one one big help is definitely this Delphic, where um, you know it's an AOE and it helps you recover some HP. Uh, particularly in class wars, when you have the Sylph troops, sometimes the kid is even still there, uh, depending on on the fight. Um, it, that really does help out. So manage here, and I think. Don't hold me- okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's between- yeah, okay, so here I'm talking about it. Uh, so between that last fight and this one, I was like, okay, I'm an idiot. So I went ahead and looked at my resistances. I, um, after I, you know, looked and everything, I rushed to start putting the resistances in. I immediately went for the will crystals because I was like, I'm not dealing enough damage here. So, um, so there you see damage plus 3%, so at least I'm dealing more damages. All my will crystals are, are in. I have maybe a couple resistance crystals in, maybe, you know, a few at most. Um, so I'm still taking an enormous amount of damage, but at least I'm dealing quite a bit of damage. Um, but this person kept, kept on getting these, uh, uh, the, the passives that, uh, reduce my awakening points. I think I, I have at least a couple of fights where, where I take, uh, or I, I have a lot of trouble uh, fighting through those passives because people just keep on hitting me and, and the passive procs. Um, so that's actually a very, very nice mage passive, particularly in single PvP. It really does help out a lot um, reducing your opponent's, your opponent's awakening points. So there, that's that's much easier than my first fight against Grievous again because I'm hitting harder. Uh, but here I'm I'm finally like I need to get my resistances in. So I range things. I go with three of each, which is what I do in general. Just protect against everything, keep everything really even. But yeah, just incredible that I that I missed these. But uh, but here I have my first fight against Electric, and uh, this is with all my resistances, and she's hitting super hard. Um, so I'm also hitting very hard. Uh, there, it looks like I'm dealing quite a bit of damage, or, you know, plus damage. 
She also has the orderly titan, titan so the reason why I'm able to get into sylph mode so quickly is because I got the orderly titan which immediately restores all your awakening points. So after my first move I just uh, you know, renew all my awakening points and so I can sort of have some flexibility with when I want to go into sylph mode. Uh, so electric also has that one. Get a heal in there. Uh, against a player with this setup where she, where she has three steals, it's very, very difficult to get in both of those Delphics. Uh, maybe if I have my troops still in the mix, but, uh, but I didn't. Taking huge damage. Um, so, uh, even once I have my resistance crystals back in, she's hitting with a damage plus 59% with, with her Frigga, which is, which is crazy. So that really means that she has very, very nice reduced res. So she must have some good will crystals and some nice dimensions on, um, plus, you know, knighthood talents and all that. Um, so I'm definitely struggling quite a bit here. Um, this time around, I do manage to get both Delphics in, though. Which is good. So there, the troops are gone. Still a lot of time left, and I'm taking all sorts of damage. I use Devil's Gaze there because she has a Frigga, and of course I want to hopefully make sure that she can't heal too much. I'm on the brink of dying. Almost there. And there's no way to recover from this. I, I don't have any runes to work with. I'm not going to be able to Sylph mode soon. So she gets a win on me, and so after that, you know, I... It was it, the fight took so long I wasn't able to adjust yet, but I um, I definitely was thinking in the back of my head that I have to adjust. Um, so I have even all my resistances. You know I have three crystals each, and I was thinking you know there's probably nobody else who's gonna give me too much trouble. But the fact that she she can kill me, she's in first place at the moment. Um, I knew I had to adjust to make sure that I could fight her a little bit better. Um, so after this fight, I do uh, put in some more wind and water resistance and change up my kid. So I love the Sacred Knight. Honestly, um, in, in recent history, especially since Knighthood came into the picture, I've really liked using the Sacred Knight as my as my uh, U Demon. But uh, I think with Odin, it really does make a difference to have Battle Oracle, uh, Battle Oracle in the mix. You know, Battle Oracle, you can have the Centauria, some heals in the mix. Um, so I, I really think that's the better kid, um, considering my situation here. Um, and maybe just when I have Odin, you know, I think maybe the the Battle Oracle is a little bit excessive when I have Frigga, you know, Frigga already has that huge shield, absorption shield that lasts quite a while, plus Rain Dance, and, uh, and I already carry a heal and guardian rune, but those heal and guardian runes really don't quite cut it, um, when you have, uh, I mean, way early on, so, um, you know. Whatever it might be, between the Titans and everything, uh, I just decided I wanted that extra heal, and uh, and so I switched over to Battle Oracle, I think maybe after this. I'm not sure, I don't think I recorded um, the portion between the fights where I, where I changed the kid. So here I got Fear again. So I'm surprised to see, it's, it's pretty common to have um, duplicate fights in, in Warriors Hall. I'm a little bit surprised by some of the people I'm seeing, because I don't remember, well, look, we can look at the rankings, but I don't remember Fear and Grievous ranking among, like, the, the very, very top. I could be totally wrong, so maybe don't hold me to that, but, um, I mean, seeing Electric multiple times, believe me, we'll have lots of fights again against Electric. Uh, I was hoping to see Devil Dog one more time just to be able to like com compare and contrast, but I don't think I get another fight against him. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I was hoping for another one just so I could see the difference. You know, once I recorded everything and be able to see, uh, you know, how different the fight against him is with or without resistances. Um, but eventually, I start catching up on wins, which is which is good. Oh, so even at this point, I still have the Sacred Knight on. I don't know when between, you know, fights, I was like, hmm, maybe I should go put that Battle Oracle on. Uh, really having that Rage Steal c can sometimes be a real lifesaver, or even a troop saver for, um, for this type of situation. Because I'm getting into Sylph mode so early uh, that if my opponent is able to use some of those bigger skills, um, not Criminal Trial, but uh, Hell's Requiem, which is the, the mage's big AoE skill. 
Uh, you know, if they can use those on my Sylph troops, sometimes they take a lot of damage, and, uh, and so sometimes it's nice to have that, that rage steal, and, uh, and they won't have enough rage to deal that, deal that skill, but that wasn't the case. So in between that last fight and this one, I do switch over to a Battle Oracle. I lead off the fight with a Guardian Rune, and immediately, um, my, my Titan hits, so I'm able to get into Sylph mode, um, after that. And, uh, and so I didn't bother with any early attacks. One, because I wanted to get into Sylph mode and, uh, and kill the kid that way. That's just a bit easier. So I had thought this through a, a little bit. Um, but again, because I don't have the Rage Steal, she gets in that big, big hit. And, uh, and so uh, my solution in this case is just to heal with the Battle Oracle. Usually I don't like using a heal to heal my Sylph troops, just because the more... You heal those self troops, the more damage they take, and sometimes you can get into trouble. I already have Rain Dance on my on my Frigga, so it's like a little bit hairy, but uh, we'll see how it goes here. Still taking quite a bit of damage. So I do do one Hell's Requiem. I guess I decided to go with the second one to deal more damage to those troops. Um, in the back of my head, I thought I would go after Lightbringer to make sure I could get into Sylph mode, but I guess that's not the case. Her Sylph troops are, are holding up quite well. Maybe she's just protecting against Odin. No, I mean, I get plus 25% damage, so it's not that much protection. Here, one more big hit. I actually managed to kill her. It takes quite a long time, though. Um, so, uh, so after this, I think we're both sort of know, adjusting gameplay a little bit. To try and deal with each other. And so at that point, um, I think we, we remain with, like, similar rankings at this point. I've caught up to, you know, the sort of second, third, around there uh, number of wins. Um, I don't get electric again here. Somebody else faces her. Which is good, I mean, I shouldn't have to face her every single time. Even so, actually, in this case, all I wanted was to face Electric over and over again if I could. Uh, because if she's facing somebody else, she'll probably win. And, uh, and that means that our rankings will just stay the same. Um, so, uh, if we're both just winning against other people, that's advantageous to her. Um, so, I knew I was playing catch-up this whole time. So, uh... So yeah, for me, I wanted to see Electric, but um, a little intermission to have a fight with Ice Princess. It's a little bit risky going after this Delphic um, when I'm so low on Awakening Points. You know, when you get a hit from a mage, there's pretty much everybody uses uh, the, the passive to uh, decrease Awakening Points every time that you attack or you know a chance to decrease them so uh, so there's always a chance you're just gonna be screwed and not be able to use a Delphic if you um, if you aren't pretty high up in awakening points so here I guess this is uh, what is it round three or four with with electric uh, plenty of fights with her which is which is nice I mean she was definitely my strongest competition so actually um, having repeat fights against her are not a bad thing I think the last time I had this many repeat fights against anybody was against um, maybe Matt D back in the day. I think I might have gotten five fights against against him in uh, one Warriors Hall. Uh, just the pairing is so different in Warriors Hall than it is in Warlords. Here she's still doing really fantastic j uh, damage against me. So you know when I have. 20k plus resistance of, of each type, wind and water, and she's dealing that much damage, uh, you, you know her reduced res has to be good, which is just a, you know, a virtue of having good reduced res, that's always a plus. Actually sort of surprised to see her, you know, I, I think there are definitely people in, in Warlord's Hall who, who would be losing to Electric at this point. That heal rune. I was lucky to have my little passive that reduces damage in the mix. So 
the devil's, devil's gaze there does help, you know, it, it reduces the amount that she heals, and, and that's a good thing, um, if I could, if I could kill her, um, here it's more just important that I'm dealing a lot of damage, the biggest part is getting some serious damage on her troops, um, so that's, that always helps with the timer wins, and so there I manage, manage a timer, timer win, I think we're due for even two more fights with Electric. And of course, I'm just playing so much catch up here. I have to win every single fight. Up up to this point, there's no... I, I know that I'm going to face her over and over again because we're, you know, constantly one in, placed one and two. And uh, and if I lose any of them, there's there's no way <laughs> that I can I can win Warriors Hall. Um, especially because she has more BR than, than I do. I have to be ahead of her on wins. I can't. Um, be tied with her, or else I will definitely place lower. So manage the bleed on her, which is good. Um, you know, making sure to, to kill off the kid is, is definitely helpful. Um, uh, for sure, that means that you can get the bleed on them, guaranteed. I put, I put my death titan in, in the, in the third slot, so I can do three skills, and then, um, and then the bleed will go out. Uh, so I think a, a good portion of the time I'm, I'm able to clear everything within three turns and, and get that bleed on them. Really just hitting very, very hard. Almost makes me a little bit <laughs> like nostalgic of, of using my, my Frigga. And I appreciate that Frigga that I've had for so long. For sure, I you know it has served me very, very well. Uh, but it is just so nice to have Odin and have some variety and change things up a bit. So here, I don't know why it takes so long for me to get out of Sylph mode. I feel like I should have immediately gotten out of Sylph mode the moment I casted that Devil's Gaze. And I thought that's what I did, uh, and I thought I was going to get out of Sylph mode and, and try and kill her. But anyway, I went to another timer winner. <laughs> another timer win. Um, and so here we are, last fight against Electric. And so I am winning here um, the past couple of fights and feeling like I, I have things sort of figured out. But... Uh, but by all means, I can't let my guard down. Again, I have to win this fight um, in order to, to win the whole thing. We're both... Um, oh, what is it? Okay, so I'm at 12 wins and she's at 11. But that means if I lose, we're at 12-12 and she, was, she would play, place first. And she does seem to have a nice cycle of, of shields going. I feel like, especially early on, I'm not... Uh, you know, able to get that nice easy damage against her because she has the guardian runes going at the proper times and stuff. And it's not like I'm not paying attention to them. Um, you know, sometimes even if you know a shield is out, you're still going to use a big skill. Uh, for me, you know, I, I understood that I was going to be out of sylph mode soon and that I would probably find a different way to get into sylph mode quickly. Um, I, I don't use Lightbringer against her as much as I maybe thought I would. Um, against other players, sometimes I'll get out of Sylph mode real quick and use a Lightbringer so that I can get back into Sylph mode um, and awaken as soon as, as I can to get a second set of Sylph skills out, but I don't end up doing that to her. I, I just get back into Sylph mode the normal way, I guess. I send a little thanks to her just because we have a really nice set of fights. I I imagine she might be somewhat frustrated um, after how things went, but uh, but even so, it's always nice to have uh, a bunch of good fights with somebody uh, strong and who's who's playing well. Did I manage to kill her here? Oh, I should have just gone after. I should have waited to use Devil's Gaze or something. I don't even know. What I'm going to heal, going for a heal rune there. But, uh, but I got close to killing her that last time, but it did go to timer and I won. So there we are with uh, myself in first, managing to pull through on Warriors Hall after that big, big mess. Uh, and then followed by Electric and Ariel and, uh, and Ray 7 getting first in Warlords Hall again. So big congratulations to her and uh, all the other winners. Um, 
As for for me, you know, I'm pretty much satisfied with winning Warriors Hall at this point. The fact that I'm getting more competitive fights is is nice there. Uh, but I think Warlords Hall BR wise is starting to become a stretch, so we'll see what happens. Um, but a big congratulations to Grimith. He did really well among the Knights. I know, you know, fifth might not sound like anything crazy, but the Knights in my crossover section are really, really competitive. Like, very, very strong, insane BRs. So, actually, he, he did quite well there. Um, and, uh, and here, just grabbing mount cards, just showing that I get mount cards from this. I really think it's best to go after the Beast Souls, especially, unless you're a casher who, you know, cashes up mounts. Uh, really, that's you know, the, the currency that you're going to want, and, uh, and otherwise just grab some whips or whatever, uh, even though the whips are at a really bad rate in here. But anyway, that's it for this month, um, or at least for this Class Wars. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care, and have a very good day.